Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. The other day I unboxed and reviewed the Age of Sigmar, Auric War Clans, Gut Rippers and Paints set. And in that video I said I was going to do a follow-up video in which I attempted to paint the three miniatures that come in that set using only the paints from that set. And this is exactly what I'm doing today. However, I am cheating a little bit. As you can see here, I have decided to spray undercoat the miniature using the Colour Forge Matte Black Spray. And also I tried to use just the brush from the starter set, but that brush is ghastly. So I am going to use a couple of brushes that I already have in my collection. Other than that, I'm only going to use the six paints that came in the set. And I haven't even glued these miniatures or filled any of the join lines. As you can see here, there are some visible joins around the neck. So this should be a pretty accurate representation of what you can get from just using the stuff you get in this set. And to start with, we are going to use Mephiston Red to paint the shield. Mephiston Red goes on quite nicely over the black. So you can usually get away with just one coat, but you might want to get a second coat on just to be sure. And the reason we're starting with the shield is because the front of the shield is well away from the rest of the miniature so there's not going to be a lot of risk of getting any paint on it when we do the rest of the miniature but also the back of the shield is quite difficult to get to so i'm going to put the red in there first and then i can just go in with a fine brush to pick out the details on the straps and the arm but this is actually the only part of the miniature that is going to be red so we are now going to move on to the Auric Flesh, which is the brand new paint that has come out with this edition of Age of Sigmar. And as it turns out, undercoating with black was a bad call for these miniatures because Auric Flesh has a very poor coverage. When you thin it down slightly, it really doesn't go over the black very well at all. You'd probably be better off putting it over a gray or a white. And here you can see the miniature with a single coat of the Auric Flesh over it. Not great. It's actually going to take me another two thin coats to get a kind of coverage that I am happy with. Which is what we have here. And now we're going to move on to the Steel Legion Drab. And this is going to be applied to the shaft of the spear. It's going to be applied to all of the fabric and leather all over the miniature. All of the straps. And also we're going to apply it around the rim of the base normally you would do the rim of the base last but i've got the pot of paint open right now so i'm just going to do that quickly as well and then we are moving on to lead belcher and of course lead belcher is for all of the metallic areas of the miniature so that's the shoulder pads there are some knee pads as well and then there are the tips of the spears we just need to be careful here not to get any of the metallic paint over the other base paints that we've already applied. And also there are some studs and teeth on the shield. I'm going to pick those out with the lead belcher as well, just so we don't have a big solid mass of red on the front of the miniature. And you could leave the miniature at that point and you have something that already looks much better than the classic Games Workshop grey miniature. But of course, we want to go a step further, we are going to apply Agrax Earthshade, the liquid talent. We are going to apply this over the entire miniature. It's going to go into the recesses and provide the recess shading. It's also going to make the miniature look a little bit more grungy. And it's going to help to tie all of the colours together and just make the whole thing look a little bit more natural. While you want the wash to go into the recesses, you don't want it to pull too much. If you do get too much on the miniature, you can just spread it out with your brush or get a clean brush touch it against the wash and draw it away for the miniature. And then while that wash is drying, we can apply the Sterling Mud to the base. And now I am going to use the starter brush that came in this set because I always use the starter brushes for the technical paints. Sterling Mud is a lumpy texture paint. So what you want to do is get a load of it on your brush, find an open area on the base and dollop it on there and then spread it out. And you can have some thin areas where there isn't a lot of texture or you can heap the paint up in certain areas so that those parts of the base are rougher and just play around with it and see what you think. And there we go, that is that. And I am calling that done. Of course, there's more you can do. What you can do is with all of the base paints that came in the set, you can go back and apply highlights. For example, you can thin down the auric flesh and then paint it onto all of the raised areas of the auric's muscles. 
or you could use the edge of your brush to apply an edge highlight of lead belcher to the tips of the spears. Those sort of things will help to elevate the model just a little bit more. It will make some of the colours pop. It will help to bring out some more of the details. But it's not necessary for a tabletop quality paint job, which is what I have done here. And I have to say, I don't think these look too bad, considering I've used just six paints. There are some gnarly obvious join lines, which normally would be filled in with green stuff. But I wanted to show what these would look like if you were just using the contents of the box. And they look okay. So there we go. That's three miniatures painted with six paints. And that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.